Hello, my name is Stephen Bryant. I'm the fitness specialist here at the Whaleyville Community Center with Suffolk Parks and Recreation, and this is... Christopher Rogers, and I'm a fitness leader here at Whaleyville Community Center. All right, so today we're gonna give you another exciting home workout that you can do. Uh, so we're gonna use something that you probably have at home. Okay, so we're gonna use a backpack today. So you're gonna take a backpack, a large purse, um, a duffel bag, travel, anything. Okay, a bag that you can put stuff in and zip it up. All right, so you're gonna load it up with books from your library of mahogany and large books. This is Grey's Anatomy, because you know I'm a fitness guy. All right, this is actually an anatomy book. It's not the show, okay? All right, so you're gonna load up your backpack or your purse with books, okay, or things that, you know, weigh some, I also have some peanut butter in here, okay? You can put anything you need in your bag, okay? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your bag, you're gonna grab it on its sides, Okay, so we're gonna start off, we're just gonna lift it overhead. So you're just gonna press it overhead, there we go. So when you press things overhead, you wanna make sure that you're not arching your back, okay, rounding your back, because we don't wanna aggravate anything going on back there. So you wanna make sure you're engaging your core, staying nice and tall, elongated, okay? So you're gonna grab and lift, good. Okay, he's gonna do three more for us. All right, so we're gonna do sets of 10 today, all right? So he's grabbing his bag, lifting it overhead, all right, so then what you're gonna do, now that you've grabbed your bag and lifted it overhead, now you're gonna take it, wrap your arms around it, okay, like it's your precious baby, okay, you're gonna squeeze it tight, okay, not like it's your precious baby, okay. We're gonna squeeze it tight, and then you're going to squat with it. So as you're squatting, you're dropping your hips back, okay. All right, there you go, and dropping down, standing nice and tall, good. Okay, so when we squat, we want to make sure the pressure is on the middle and the back of our foot, okay? We don't want to come up onto our toes, all right? Especially if you have knee problems, it's going to put all the pressure right over your knees, and we don't want that. We don't want you in pain. We want mild discomfort, but not pain, okay? So, squeezing, staying up tall, good. So when you're squeezing up against the bag, up against your chest and your belly, okay, it's helping you create tension through your midsection, okay, which is what we want when we squat. Helps keep our low back nice and safe, okay? He's gonna do one more for us, doing a great job. Okay, nice, all right. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into a bent over row position. So he's gonna turn the bag kind of sideways, all right, and then what he's gonna do, he's gonna bend over, this is a, a hip hinge, okay? So he's bending at his waist, his knees are slightly bent, okay? And then he's gonna pull his elbows up to his sides, okay? There we go, and then back down. All right, so he's pulling that, what we're doing is we're engaging the upper back here, okay? So you're almost like you're trying to squeeze a pencil in between your shoulder blades as you're coming back, okay? All right, so that's the bent over row. Good, there we go. He's gonna do a couple more for us here. Nice, there we go, good. All right, so then we're gonna get the abs engaged, okay? So what he's gonna do is he's gonna sit on the ground for us, okay? And then, so we're gonna, we're gonna show you an unmodified position. So, so you may know these as Russian twists, okay? So he's gonna balance on his butt. Okay, he's gonna have the bag on one side, okay? And then he's gonna grab the bag and then take it from side to side. There we go. Boom, nice. Okay, just like that. So now a modified position, if you have a hard time balancing, you would put your feet on the ground Okay, and you continue to do that. There we go. Now, the closer your feet are to you, the harder it's gonna get. So if you struggle with this, you take your feet out even further, further away from your, your body. There we go, good. All right, there we go, nice. Okay, so that's gonna get your abs, your obliques, okay, the ones that are on the sides of your body, those love handles, all right. So that's gonna help target those, okay. There we go, good job, thank you. So, next, we're gonna do some push-ups, okay? So if you've seen any of our other videos, there's always a modification for push-ups, um, but we're gonna start. So if you have a backpack, you're gonna put that backpack on your back, all right? So this is gonna help build up our strength, okay? So we're not gonna do a whole lot, we're gonna do sets of four on this. Okay, so he's gonna get into the regular push-up position, all right? So with this one, we wanna make sure our abs are engaged, okay, we're in a nice straight line going down our body, okay, your butt squeezed tight, okay, and then he's gonna drop down, 
Come to 90 degrees and back up. Good, there we go. He's gonna do four of those. Good, that's two. All right, nice. There you go. So this extra added load is gonna help us create some more tension um, for our body to help get stronger with. And then once again, if you need uh, a modification, okay, you can come down and then drop your knees to the ground, come up, and then lift your knees. Down, drop the knees, come up. There you go, okay. And another one that you can do is you can put your hands on a step or a counter uh, or bench, chair, anything like that, okay? So that's our workout for today, okay? This is, you, you have a bag in your house, all right? You have stuff that weighs pounds, okay? All right, so you can get some resistance training in your household. You don't need a gym. You don't need to pay 40, 50 bucks a month. You can, you can work out at home, okay? All right, you have a great day.